Hello, my beautiful Capricorn Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your June 16th through 30th, 2024 reading. Many blessings to you all as we move into this beautiful energy. Remember, this is a collective energy. It is for all sun, moon, and rising signs. That means if you'd like to have a personal reading, please pop on into my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be super excited to meet with you after you schedule your reading. So let's move forward in the energy, seeing what the cards have to say. Wow. So we have the gift of victory releasing us from the not knowing which way to turn or what to do. So this is opening up the beautiful energy, cutting through the veil and allowing you to see your way forward. With the uh, Ace of Abundance here with the Ace of Pentacles. So you got an Ace of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. And I don't care who you are. Uh, two Aces are, are a real good thing. <laughs> no matter what game you're playing. So very much in the energy of success and financial stability. And it's a new flow of income as well. So we love the new flow to come in to help set us up into a beautiful energy of success and Money, money, money. Let's see what else we have, my cappies. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light. Divine spirit, Aquarius, star card. This is your soul's desire being granted. So very highly aligned and highly attuned energy of ascension and the universe setting you on your path, your soul's mission with the stability of this beautiful Ace of Pentacles. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. You're always welcome here. Well, in case you missed it the first go round, here it is again, making sure you see there is a breakthrough coming. It's a higher frequency. And let's just say you realize we're in the age of Aquarius. So that card coming out is really profound as you're opening your soul's guidance system. It's showing you. We have focus on the goal and don't. Pay attention to the chaos. Now, I could say that to a lot of different signs, but you don't have a problem with that, Cappies. Very grounded energy, very focused on the ultimate outcome. Um, just a get or done energy and not even, there's no, there's nothing other than that on your mind. And that is where it's telling you, don't let other people's drama make you turn your head. A sudden noise, just be still unless you feel it happening right there, you know. So. Whatever's going on in the background doesn't matter. Don't don't lose your focus. And we've got the three of wands, which is your all the past things that you've had are now securely grounded and have taken root. And you can now step forward in the knowledge and experience and branch out into something new here, leaving the past behind. But it doesn't need to be babysat. It's not you're abandoning. You're not abandoning it. And the energy is letting you move forward in something new, which is always a wonderful thing. Growth is required. So that's you growing and moving forward in something new. With the judgment card, this is the Archangel Gabriel literally blowing the horn of resurrection. So something that you thought wasn't going to be possible or you'd kind of given up on it and thought, well, I'll just let me just see how I can do it different. Um, this is the moment where it's coming back around. It is a good thing. Usually it doesn't mean anything other than being restored to something previous or something that you really wanted to do showing up in a new way. And there's your queen, my beautiful Cappy energy. This is your queen, beautiful pinnacles. You are the pinnacles in the, in the tarot. And this is fertile new beginnings with financial abundance and money in hand. So we'll take that in the household energy. What a wonderful energy. When you see the queen, it's about new growth and new things. When you see the king, it's about grounded stability, something that's already flowered into existence. Hello, stability. The Aries Major Arcana, the Emperor, this is the masculine of the universe. And you can see this zodiac wheel is fully formed and solidly filled. So this is 
a worldly person. If it's a person, it's somebody who's traveled or speaks more than one language, and it can mean something international, but it does mean an established energy with that Aries frequency there, very solidly grounded. And we have the Nine of Wands, which means there's a moment where you feel like you've just run out of options and you don't know what to do next. You thought if you waited long enough, it would show up. Well, it will. It's just making you wait longer than you intended to when you started off this whole thing. So don't let yourself get discouraged. It is not time to quit five minutes before your miracle. And you're right up on the, ne the next moment where the breakthrough happens. Because the next card after this nine of rods is the ten, which is the, the burden being lifted and the struggle being over. So don't give up on it too quick. Now, as you move forward in your career and finance, it's telling you, go with the thing you're comfortable with. Everybody can advise you. Yes, you should listen. However, you also need to listen to your inner guidance as well. Follow your gut. And we have the Five of Cups. Now, this may be a disappointment, something that's happening uh, that has caused you to feel a little, we'll say, a, a, a little bit in a place of playing your little violin, basically. OK, feeling sorry for yourself. It's OK. We all do it. We just can't get stuck there. The only way to get out of this is to move forward. And the only way to move forward is to turn around and look that direction so that you can see the universe has already provided you with everything you need so that you can leave this behind. So it's telling you whatever it is, you've got to move forward. Both of these cars are saying the same thing. You do have the strength and ability to do so. Archangel Ariel is here. This is the Lion of God walking forward. It's also the Leo Major Arcana. And it means you're being protected and guided to the ultimate goal that you're trying to get to without having anything hold you back. And this, this beautiful energy will not abandon you or forsake you while you're on your journey. You're going the right direction. This is near future. Six of Swords. You have the ability and the skill. The beautiful energy of this is you're just launching forward with all the things you already possess and know how to do. If you trust that you're guiding in the right direction, remember, this is where you choose for yourself and you let the universe help you. This is the right direction. You will ultimately be in that energy of feeling like, okay, I'm finally straightened out and I'm going the right direction. And then you'll get in your head. Well, did I do the right thing? Is it all going to turn out the way I think? Or am I just, you know, you know how we do questioning yourself, doubting yourself, criticizing yourself. This is all the universe's stuff going on. These aren't even ready for you to grab onto. You see, they're still in the form of light. The particles haven't even fully solidified. Let the universe do this part. And you just focus inwardly on what you're trying to achieve and then let the universe give you the options. When they show up, it'll be time for you to take action. You'll know. Absolutely will you know, because here's the king of wands. This is the king of action itself. Fully developed action, by the way. Remember, it's king's energy. So very fiery energy, whether it's about a job or the passionate energy of what you're doing. This is the go get it, get her done, ha you know, action, action, action. That's the fiery energy that's here. Now, just because you're a, uh, a Capricorn and you're in this energy of the pinnacles doesn't mean this doesn't apply to you. We're all different variations of all the Zodiac to some degree as we were born in that particular energy. So they're all still, the planets are still out there. They're just aligned in a specific way. For you, that's why you have a specific sign that you're born under. That's your sun sign. That's why we have all the different things in astrology. We have four of swords reminding you, you're not going to get very far if you don't stop and refuel or allow yourself to decompress. Give yourself some self-care. Give yourself time to unwind and reset so that the next section that you move into, you'll be fully ready and available because there's a lot going on coming in. So. You want to be ready and you don't want to miss out on it. And we have the clarifiers. The six of pentacles. Very wonderful energy. This is a windfall. This is abundance coming in that doesn't have to be paid back. This is free money and we love this. So yay team, something turning out way better than we expected or for more abundance than we expected. And it can come out of the blue, so you don't have to know what it is. Thank you, angels, archangels. I tipped over a whole bunch there. Oh, no, it was only one. It felt like a lot. 
Yep, there's only one. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all beautiful Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising energy to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So we had these volunteers and this volunteer, the moon. Pisces moon is here. This is the embryo energy of forming something from the quantum into the reality of now as you bring the particles into form through your concentrated effort and attention. You set the intention to create this in your reality. So keep your manifestors hat on because that Aquarius beautiful star card is there to assist you. And that's a big, powerful one. We have the dump truck load of blessings, the seven of cups. This means you've got your, you've got your hands full here. So keep your focus because you're going to be doing a lot of things happening all at the same time. You just have to pace yourself and don't get overwhelmed by it. The seven of cups is reminding you that everything that you need doesn't have to be done the same time it shows up. It doesn't, you don't have to turn it around within seconds. So just pace yourself and move in the order that makes you comfortable so that you don't overwhelm yourself. Yes, and now we're ready to proceed really fast because there's the Knight of Swords. Good thing you're ready because there it is. Very fast-moving energy. It's like a lightning strike. So we don't have to dilly-dally at all when that shows up. It's happening quickly. And it might come out of the blue just like, oh, goodness, come on now. Just like lightning does. If I can just get those two to separate. They just want to hang on to each other. So I'm leaving it. <laughs> the Knight of Swords is a very, very wonderful energy because it can be a sudden knowing or even someone walking up to you or calling you from out of the blue. And you have the resurrection that's coming in here with that and the Five of Swords, which means you feel like you're battle weary because you've just been, you know, going at it every which way you can. And we have to understand that it is the energy of feeling battle weary, but it doesn't mean you're losing the battle. It means be still. You've already won. You just don't know it yet. So very wonderful energy. Eight of Pentacles. This is the mastering of something new. So pay attention as you polish your skills and abilities because that's going to bring in more abundance. We love that Eight of Pentacles. And me and that, Pisces moon, just keep getting after it. There is the, the justice card, Libra major arcana, which is the energy of the right decisions being made by you and for you. And it's a very balanced energy. So with that Aries energy, very strong set of, of knowing that everything's going to be directed for your best possible outcome. Hello, Aries emperor again. So the Aries emperor triumphs here so you it's worth the wait because this is the divine in the in the masculine which means it's fully activated and you have it has your back basically that's what we're talking about the emperor has your back which is the universe itself and the aries major arcana now we have the ace of pentacles okay i don't know why for somebody these people are twins i just got told um, so two Aries, they're twins. Don't know what that's for for someone, but it's definitely there. That just came out for no reason. So here's the Ace of Pentacles. It is a reason, but none that I know of. Here's the Ace of Pentacles, which is the energy of being absolutely in the abundance that is meant for you because that is the new fertility of new abundance, the platform of that energy. We saw that Ace of Pentacles at the beginning when we first started. And we have the resurrection. So whatever's got you down is about to turn around for you. There's the, the restoring energy. So if you've, if you've got a job issue and, and whether or not you're changing jobs, it doesn't matter. It's going to be resolved or something's going to be restored and brought back to wholeness. Yes, you're getting a promotion. This is the energy of a promotion. It is the wonderful world energy. It's a new beginning, the vortex of the universe creating a new doorway for you to step up and out. So absolutely, this is lifting you up into a higher position and feeling very appreciated. 
we have a little competition, but nothing major. Remember, there's always going to be some little distraction or some kind of th little little speed bump. I say speed bump because that's really, it's really a tiny thing. It's more annoying than anything, but you're going the right direction. So don't let this, just hold your ground and don't let anybody kind of bluff you into thinking they have more power than they do because they do not. Yes, we have the five of cups again. So when you get to spinning out here, you'll, you'll automatically go to the coulda, shoulda, wouldas and the blame game. We have to block this old stuff and move forward and not look back. Allow yourself to release from all of that and just focus on the future, not the past, because the past is not a living thing. You can only work from the now and move in this energy to create what you're doing in the future. Don't overthink it. The Two of Swords is saying it won't be logical. This is miraculous energy. And if you focus within yourself, just like what that Eight of Swords is telling you, focus within yourself, you won't have any problems moving forward in this Action King's energy. And we have... Hello, Capricorn King. Fully in your power. Very stable. Very grounded. And very abundant. So what a wonderful energy this is for you to come through. So we love that energy. Get your rest and get ready. There's a lot going on and all things are moving very quickly. I'm going to see if I can get it to stay there. Stay. <laughs> Having the ability to move through all the challenges is just requiring you to keep your focus. That's all you have to do. Keep your focus on the ultimate outcome of your best possible beautiful restoration and bringing every single opportunity that is aligned for your highest good. So my darlings, don't forget, we have all kinds of readings. We have weekly forecasts. We have daily affirmations. Those are all free. And then we have the members only, which is a very small fee. I'd use it to support my channel. If you'd like to support me in that way, click the join button and you can see what the options are. I do exchange that donation uh, is, rather than a donation. That money that comes in goes to support the channel. I don't accept donations. That is my way of doing it with a fair exchange of giving you 20 readings a month. And when you see how much it costs, you'll be like, what? So it's around $5 American. That like $4.99, I think is what I have it set at. So um, it's worth it. It's plenty of readings. And it's a wonderful way to set your intensity and have a small meditation and with that energy of, of understanding. So many blessings to you, my Capricorn friends. Have a beautiful second half of June. I will see you soon. Namaste, my Cappy friends.